We're to going do. to do an examination. Do you experience hypertension, angina, acute myocardial infarctions, congestive heart failure, migraine headaches, renal impairment, or hepatic impairment? Has anyone ever said you are the picture of health? You look healthy. You should try diet and exercise. Or if you're too fat and or lazy, Metaprolol can solve your problems. Also known as Lepresto, Triple XL, Metaprolol, Succinate, ER, Metaprolol, Tartrate, Celecine, Minax, Metaprolol, Metaprolol, Bloxine, Nebulog, Presolol, Corvitec, Met, Exo, Natural, Star Press, and Resto Press. Also known as Isopropyl, Amino, 342, Methyl, Phenoxy, There's a big mystery around what it is, what it does. Is it as good as people say it is? Metaprolol is a selective beta-1 adrenergic receptor antagonist. Beta receptor stimulation leads to an adrenergic response. When beta receptors on the heart are stimulated, the heart increases in force and heart rate, increasing blood pressure, leading to many of the symptoms you may be experiencing. Metaprolol has been designed to directly block these receptors from being stimulated. A piece of resistance. This prevents the heart from working too hard and getting too swole, or causing a number of other complications. Since metaprolol blocks adrenergic responses of the heart, it may be used off-label for relieving anxiety disorders. I go along with the scientists who say this may be the next best thing in medicine. Beta receptors are also present in other areas of the body. Some are beta-1 receptors, some are beta-2 receptors. Some drugs, like propranolol, block both kinds of receptors. However, blocking the beta-2 receptors in the lungs could prevent bronchial relaxation and cause respiratory depression. Are you a child? Really hard to tell. Metaprolol is perfect for children with hypertension. As long as they are older than six and are dosed according to body weight, usually one milligram per kilogram of body weight, however, safety and effectiveness for pediatric usage has not yet been established. Common side effects include fatigue, dizziness, diarrhea, pruritus, rash, depression, dyspnea, bradycardia. There's a side effect to almost every new thing, you know. Congestive heart failure, severe bradycardia, heart block, cardiogenic shock, renal phenomenon, gangrene, bronchospasm, hepatitis, hypersensitive reactions, photosensitivity, lupus, erythromatous, and granulocytosis. They do you a lot of good. They also don't do you a lot of good, mm -hmm. you know. If you get bored and discontinue abruptly, you may experience angina, exacerbation, myocardial infarction, or ventricular arrhythmia. If you are drugged up on more stuff, be sure to consult your physician before popping some metaprolol. Some medications, like barbiturates or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, may interact with metaprolol. Ain't nobody got time for that! If you happen to be in physical therapy school and encounter a patient using this drug, you should recognize that this patient may experience orthostatic hypotension during bend mobility and transfers. Also be aware of possible bradycardia during exercise. These patients may be at risk for fainting and may have too low of cardiac output to tolerate heavy exercise. You may need to guard these patients more closely to limit fall risk if the patient faints. Be aware that if the patient is taking a non-selective beta blocker, he or she may experience respiratory depression. You may advise these patients to diet and exercise in addition to using medication or to reduce dependence on medication. So you go and enjoy your swole heart capable of supernatural pumping pressures. Everyone's health needs a hero. But keep it in check with Metaprolol, selective beta-1 adrenergic receptor antagonist. Make sure you are the picture of health.